So just to give you an example of a few things, we've got a hand-painted casket here, which uh, the actual flower arrangement on there is actually hand-painted on by a lady, so each single casket she does is unique. We've got a range of solid oak and mahogany caskets, a very simple but really popular scatter pouch, which in these times of being eco-friendly, the ashes can go in here. We've got a water-soluble bag that the ashes are in inside, so if they bury the pouch, the water will dissolve the bag, the ashes will go back to the ground naturally. Something very simple, but for a lot of people it's what they want, because it's a lot of people that come here, it's not about having a highfalutin service, it's about looking after the pet, just simply taking care of that final journey uh, and giving them the respect they deserve. So, you know, it's not about having a very expensive option at the end of it, it it's, it's about the first part and then they may choose something very simple for the ashes. We've also got something completely different here, like a wooden dog. This is uh, hand carved, so each one of these is unique. And there's a silk compartment underneath, so the ashes go underneath here, and uh, no one would ever know. You know, you can have that as an ornament sitting on the side, no one knows that your dog's in there. Um, uh, and, and for a lot of people that want to keep them indoors, they don't want a casket like this purely and simply because it draws attention to the fact they've got a casket. Whereas if you have something like this, or up here, We've got picture frames, and actually in this frame up here, his ashes aren't in there, but this is the photograph of Brutus, who uh, is the dog that made the parents start the service. These two frames are purpose-made with a hidden ash casket behind. For the same reason as the dog, really, so if people don't want to tell anyone, they don't have to. We've got some other options here. This is a really tiny, if you compare it to these, a really miniature casket, and we have these specially made for rabbits, hamsters, mice, skinny pigs. Often they're described as children's pets, but say we have a lot of adults who have house rabbits and, and, and uh, guinea pigs and, and, and hamsters who will come here because they just have formed a bond with that pet. And it's not actually about the size of the pet, it's about the bond the person has with the pet and develops and that relationship between them. And then finally, just to sort of give you a brief idea, we've got another little casket here. Again, hand carved compartment for the ashes, obviously for a rabbit. And one of our really popular ones, uh, again hand carved, uh, wooden cat casket. And again with this, sealed from the base, the ashes go in there, no one knows they're there. We've got a pendant, uh, and this, you can have a token amount of ashes put in this. It's for wearing, you know, uh, either as a necklace um, or on a chain, um, you know, wrist chain. Basically, small amount of the ashes go in, the person then, for some people they want them close by, so they've got a token amount of ashes or even a hair cutting that can be put in there or anything like that, um, so they can be with them close and, and the majority of the ashes would then be in, in, in another permanent option. It's a uh, paw print heart, um, it's got a sealed compartment behind and basically a token amount of ashes um, can go in there. We're hoping to get a larger one of these made, which we could actually accommodate a larger pet in, so like a cat. Um, because again, people have had them, taken them home. No one knows the pet's in there, it's, it's, it's what they want. People, most pet owners aren't going to want to trump it, they've got their pet's ashes with them. It, it's something that's very private, um, but that doesn't mean they don't want to do something. And then, finally, something completely different. This is a pendant uh, made with the centre stone of uh, some actual ashes which have been cast in resin. So with this one here you've got the remains that you're wearing, you know, physically seen by people, although they probably wouldn't know what it is because it sort of looks almost sort of marbly or granite-like. But basically the, the, the centre disc here um, is made of a combination of resin and ashes and people again can wear that. and. and they know they've got their loved one next to them, but no one else would know.